You've got to have confidence. No matter what you're doing, you've got to bring confidence to the table. You've got to be self-assured in who you are and what you do. Now, confidence isn't something that you just have. Confidence is something that you develop. Before I started my business, I but when I first started my business, I was terrible. I would make phone calls and like trip and stumble my way through phone calls and it was horrible. But I learned what I needed to learn to grow me to the next level of mastery. There's two ways to build confidence. One of them is knowledge. Figure out what do I need to know that I don't now know that's going to take me to the next level. And figure out who can help me get there? Find yourself a mentor, someone who is already where you want to be and following their footprint. When you know more, you know more. And you know that you know more. And so you can go out there and give value and information to the people that you come into contact with and know and be self-assured that you know. The interesting thing is we never know everything. So you're always going to be growing and learning. So remember that it's okay to stumble and fall. And that brings me into the second part of how to build your confidence, which is practice your skills. So whether you're learning how to sew, or you're learning how to knit, or you're learning how to cook, or you're learning how to talk to girls, or you're learning how to negotiate with, with business partners, or you're learning how to do sales, whatever it is that you're learning today, remember it's okay to make mistakes, practice your skills, even when it's kind of a little bit scary and you kind of you screw it up, like I have a lot, keep practicing, take, take steps every day to grow yourself as a person and you'll find your confidence will start to build and make mistakes, it's where you grow.